Hello everyone, it's another glorious February morning here in Chicago. By that I mean, of course, it's dark, dreary, cold, and rainy outside like it is almost every day between October and May. And so, I'm inside, I don't have class right now, and it's time to play a little bit of Thief. <clears throat> Today's mission is Trace the Courier. As you can see, I did my practice run already. Here's my save from the end of Blackmail. The briefing cinematic has been separately put on the playlist as always, so let's look at our objectives. Trace the message to its final destination without being caught by the courier. Somehow find out the contents of that message. Out on the street is a poor place to pick up funding for your next escapade, but you ought to at least give it a shot. Perhaps the passers-by will be helpful. Pick at least six pockets. It's hard to imagine why you'd need to kill anybody on a job like this. Anyway, don't do it. Pretty straightforward. We will, of course, skip making any purchases, so let's get started. Peek at our map and you'll notice we are back on the exact same map as Ambush. This is why I feel like Thief 2 was kind of unfinished. It repeats maps twice, it does it again later on in the game, and this big city map, it had so much potential, but so much of it is empty. There's really almost nothing going on except the streets, with a couple of very small exceptions. but. Let's talk about what's in this mission. There's a total of 830 loot, there are a total of 14 pickpockets, and there is only one secret to be found. The diff in, in my practice run, I was actually considering how hard it usually is. It was pretty easy to perfect Supreme Ghost this mission. It's probably the easiest one I've ever played while trying to accomplish that feat. So, without further ado, let's begin. One other thing before I get started, if you're playing this mission, the objective is tagged to the letter they're carrying. If you get too far away from the letter, you will fail the mission, even if you can see them. This happened to me a couple of times. I was on one end of the marketplace, watching the courier on the other end, and the mission failed, even though I could still see them because I was too far away from the letter, so be aware of that. Anyway, let's get started. Lieutenant Mosley, out for a little stroll. Let's see where you take me. So, first you can zoom up behind them and grab this healing potion. For the first of 14 pickpockets. One other thing I'll mention. Very briefly, is that once the letter reaches its final destination, you will have an opportunity to go back through the city map and grab anything you missed, so don't worry too much about getting things as you pass them by. Something moved there. Keep a careful eye on your light gem, too. One weird thing about this mission, at least I thought it was weird, is that in their chatter, nobody acknowledges the fact that Truard is dead. They still talk about him as if he were the sheriff. They complain about his codes for the reports they all have to fill out, how he bites their head off if they do it wrong, how he's just as bad as those damn nobles. Oh, yes. I'm remembering some of the trouble I had already. You have to rush this, but if you do, I can. I've been able to get to the doorway without an alert. There we go. That's what I needed. So wait until the guard passes by, and the mission is a lot like this the entire time, just following the courier while. Managing to dodge everybody else. As we move up here, there's an archer on the right. What's that? Come on. He's got both a purse and some arrows, which the enterprising thief will want to grab. 
I like to wait until he makes his turn. Come on. And then, ideally, Garrett makes that mantle. Strange noise. But he frequently fails to do so. <laughs> then, if you crouch down, move to the end that way, you can get his arrows and his purse for the second and third of 14 pickpockets. That purse is worth a hundred. It's our first piece of loot. And catch up to Mosley, park in this perfect shadow, and get this fem woman's purse. The fourth of 14 pickpockets, another hundred loot, brings our total to 200. Sure, it's just as bad as those blue bloody nobles. Except you don't even know how to kick back and take it easy. We're napping on doom, short walking patrol. See, so you hear complaining about the sheriff. Now, there is another pickpocket with some loot over in the pub area, which you'll also notice is now unlocked. In a way it wasn't before. Now right here is a good spot to park and wait because a male pedestrian is going to come by and he's got another purse for us. You also want to wait for this guard to go by. You shouldn't fail the mission waiting right here. <coughs> So his purse is worth 50, brings our total to 250, and it's our fifth of 14 pickpockets. Now crossing the marketplace can get a bit hairy, just because there aren't really any good shadows around. One thing to know though is that uh, the pedestrians who aren't city watch, who aren't guards, won't alert to you. So you want to make sure you're far enough away not to get spotted, wait for this guard to turn around, because the end of his patrol point is right there, and then swoop in behind him, get his purse, and then keep following Mosley. His purse is worth 100, brings our total up to 350, and it's our sixth of 14 pickpockets, which ticks off the objective. So far, so good. Things can get hairy up here, though. I'm gonna do a real save just because the the market is kind of the first spot that I feel like is a little bit tense and we're coming up on another tense area you see he first alerted to me even though he's way the heck away so you have to be careful here because in addition to him, there's an archer who will probably be right on his heels. And I like to grab her arrows now if I can. I always listen for a minute to make sure Mosley didn't first alert because... What? She'll first... Mosley will frequently first alert without commenting. And, obviously, we can't have that, so you have to listen for her settling remarks. Okay. I'm going to have to come back for that later. Say la vie. Well, maybe not. I'd rather get it now if there's a way. What was that? Just have to be careful. What? Careful at the start and then quicker on the sprint. What was that? More careful at the start. Who's there? Hmm. 
What was that? Ooh, now that's a good idea. <sighs> what? That's enough. As long as I can avoid the <sighs> something there. As long as I can avoid the big noise, anyway. <sighs> Who's there? Garrett, you're killing me, man. <sighs> Who's making that noise? Somehow catching me as she makes her last turn. I think I need to be even faster to get out of her line of sight. Yes, 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 good. Over there! Oh my goodness. So, Mosley's still chilling just around the corner, which is good. <laughs> now you're going to want to hop across here. Head into here for this next bit. Because this area is lousy with patrollers. You're gonna have to wait here a while before the area is actually clear. The good thing is Mosley moves through pretty slowly and has a lot of stop points. I'm gonna do a real save with that those arrows nabbed. That's 7 out of 14 pickpockets. Just See that? As a by the way, I want to get this purse before she passes by. We do have to worry about that guy, but. Thought I saw. All we really have to do is make sure we give her enough time. <coughs> that purse is another hundred, brings our total to 450. What was that? And it's our eighth of 14 pickpockets. I don't like seeing things I don't... It's just a matter of careful timing. I don't like seeing things I don't... I went a little too late that time, actually. Now, to get back to the shadow, we just have to give her a little bit longer. Because Mosley's gonna stop again up there, if I remember right. Yes. She's getting pretty far away, but we have to wait for that guard on the right to turn his back again before we can finally pursue her. Anyway, like I said, another hundred brings our total to 450. It's the eighth of 14 pickpockets. Oh crud, I need to close the door. Forgot to close the door. That would have been a supreme bust and it would have been a retarded one. <laughs> Now you just gotta fly up here and immediately crouch and go hard right. Because there's another patroller gonna be here shortly. See Mosley's pausing again right there, which is fine. So once we're clear of both of them.
follow Mosley again. Okay. This is the part where you don't want to follow her yet, if I remember right. Unless there's better shadows on the other side. Because your job on private guard duty. Shows what I know. Sure, there it's just aren't. as bad as She'll first, that, that was almost certainly a first <coughs> alert, even though she, she'll first alert without commenting, which is irritating to say the least, but you just have to deal with it. So I'm going to wait till I hear her start moving again, and then get after her. Now is she... Heads down this ramp toward the Hill Street grocery store. Listen for alerts, and we're safe. And just because Helen Away was a little bit hairy, I'm gonna do a big save again. Now, it's worth noting, at the end of the mission, it's gonna say we have 14 out of 16 pickpockets. I knew that the... There's the bug that's always there that says there's one more than there actually is. I spent a lot of time running around looking for another pickpocket, and then I finally remembered that it flags the letter as a pickpocket. Somehow I doubt she dropped her note by accident. I better see what it says. My co-conspirator, our plan seems to have had no unfortunate consequences. You were concerned that some incriminating evidence was dropped by your assassin at the scene. If so, it was not found. Still, it was foolish to place the key on a key ring with my emblem on it. I am a novice at such conspiracies, I confess, but no one has implicated me in the murder. With both Hagen and Truard out of the picture, you can expect little trouble from the City Watch from now on. However, we both know that there are far more sinister forces at work in the city. On that note, you mentioned once that you had one last place to retreat to where the mechanists could never find you. If that is true, I urge you to go there now, since in light of recent events, they will waste no time or effort trying to discover your current location. I hope this warning does not reach you too late. Steadfastly yours, Lieutenant M. Let's see who comes to claim the note. So with that, our objective to find out the contents of the message is ticked. Now, it normally takes the second courier a good three minutes to get here, which is kind of an annoying wait, but it is what it is. Anyway, as I was saying, the, uh, the letter is flagged as a pickpocket, but because it will disappear from the end of the level with the second courier, you can never get it, so that's not really anything to worry about. If you want them, inside the grocery store are two flares and an invisibility potion. If you're not ghosting, it's probably worth picking up the potion at the very least, simply because you have to start the next mission with no opportunity to purchase any items, so you kind of want to bring in everything you can. I've been tempted to take this opportunity to run around and do some looting since it takes so long for the guy to come pick up the letter, but... Like I said, your objective is tagged to the letter, not to any of the couriers, so... Even if you run straight to the guy, you can fail the mission because you get too far from the letter, so... Just be patient. Sit here. Wait. I'm gonna sip at my energy drink. I'm going to say that two missions from now, we have Trail of Blood after this one, which, you know, it's okay. I don't really like it. It's certainly better than this one. I, I'll be honest, I hate this mission. It's too easy. It's recycled. There's almost nothing going on. It's one of the weakest in the entire series for me. But after Trail of Blood, which, like I said, is okay, comes Life of the Party, which, <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't have any of the cool scary elements, like the Cradle or Return to the Cathedral, but just in terms of the build... Think the it's safe? Hard the to tell. Nowhere it's really safe anymore. Not now. The Don't scale, the scope, the design, all the stuff to do. Life of the Party might be the best mission in the entire series. It's also going to be incredibly challenging to Ghost, and I'm really looking forward 
to both of those aspects of it. So now we have to follow this guy, and right now, go ahead and just slip down into the canal. Because the way the patrols are timed, you're going to need to be down here to get around several of the guards. You see her? She's the one I was worried about, so... I need to wait for her to... Turn... What was that? Okay, I needed to... I moved a little too fast. But get down into the canal. Make sure you're far enough back that he doesn't hear the splash, obviously. Then I like to wait right here until I hear her turn this corner straight above me. Then I mantle up across the river and then I jump across and mantle again behind her. <sighs> so, out. Oh, I let him get too far away. <laughs> you see right away the problems you can run into. Oops. He came about a full minute faster than he did in my practice run, so I'm not sure how that's going to change the timing of the patrols, if it's going to make things easier or harder. The issue is that on this route he takes, there are no shadows on the route, which is why I used the canal in my in my practice run. Okay. That guard makes a lot of trouble for me. Once all that's accomplished, you just kind of need to book it from shadow to shadow, like I just did. And with that done, do another real save and kind of breathe a sigh of relief. <clears throat> There's really only one tricky spot left. Good, both patrollers are currently on their way around that other corner, which is great. It's perfect, even. So we want to jump back across, head down on this side, Garrett needs to not make noise while mantling, we'll wait right here till you hear his footsteps start up again, then floor it to this shadow, you can actually wait right here, and we're not going to follow him, he went south, but we're going to go east instead, assuming we don't fail the mission, which we shouldn't, because I've done this before. We're going to wait for this guard to pass by, grab her healing potion for the ninth of 14 pickpockets. As soon as she's passed, go back the way she came. And 
just observe as he comes around that corner. Fine and dandy. Mantle up here so you avoid the metal stairs. Squat down. Get into this doorway. He's checking for things again. He's going to stop right there and look around again. There are three pieces of loot to get right quick. Up those stairs, there's a gold goblet and a stack of copper coins in the same spots they were in ambush. So, I'm going to... Oh, I was wrong. So grab these gold coins behind those arches. They're worth 25. Bring the total to 475. And then floor it up these stairs. I like to get them now because I don't like to have to come back here. Get this gold goblet, 25, total 500. Get these copper coins, 5, total 505. And get back down quickly and follow him back to the marketplace. Hopefully you've moved fast enough to avoid mission failure. Like I said, you're l lucky us pedestrians don't alert. So you see the traffic over there. Best thing to do is jump across the river. <sighs> Hold still. Hopefully you can keep that guard from alerting. But that, that can be trouble. <sighs> the guard's gonna cross the bridge. Pagan's gonna cross the bridge. And you see those two guys following him. The second run through the marketplace is just... It's also trouble. Let's try not following him. Let me see if I can get around this way, because that'd be much easier if I could. Looks like I can, which is marvelous. Hmm. So... Once you're across, just skip the market altogether. I I saw. Oh, it's Mosley. She's on her way back to her house. She's obviously not relevant anymore. But if you get to this doorway, <coughs> there's a shadow in here, if you can just find it. And it's a great spot to wait. I didn't think of that on my practice run. I lab laboriously trial and errored my way through the marketplace following the pagan. But he'll come by here eventually. Think it's safe? Hard to tell. Nowhere's really safe anymore. Not now. Don't think anyone's nearby. Should be okay. So. Now you should hear another guard coming by. So we need to wait for him before we follow our second courier. You'll notice he has a purse. Nab it as you get a chance. Wonder if I can... We're almost done tracing the courier, and things become much easier. But we do want this purse, and we want to get it without any first alerts. Can't quite reach it from the shadow, which is a shame. What do I see there? Okay, so we need to get farther over this way. Anyway, that purse is worth, well, I don't know exactly what it's worth, but it brought my total to 555. Let's now catch up to the Pagan again. He can get a little bit hung up on that lamppost, but generally he's okay. And we're just about done. There's something you need to do quickly when you get to the graveyard, oh, which is where we are now. This area was sealed off during ambush. 
Oh yes, and that was our tenth of fourteen pickpockets, so there are four to go. So as he walks toward that front door, come over into this nook here, highlight this door, some people are gonna unlock and open it, and then it'll relock behind them, but we need to keep it open. Excellent. We dare us not venture in there. Cemeteries are no place for the living to be treading about at night. Perhaps we should return home and forge the uh, back. Why enter there? Tis the only exit, and, and thou didst hit him with thy bolts. If he dost not come out, then surely he hath bled unto death. Very well. Quiet thy fearful heart, and we shall remain here. What's this? Even though they're in hunt mode, it's not a bust because it's scripted. I shall find thee. Time to go. So you can close that door behind you. There's no other way in. You have to come in here as the mechanists come out. But you see, they killed this house's rightful occupant, which was not very nice. But the reason we're here is because there's some loot in this otherwise inaccessible area of the graveyard. <laughs> you can also, uh, you can stack some crates to get in here, but this is much easier. So we need to drop to the ground with no damage. A cemetery. <laughs> That's original. So while we're down here, none of these gates open with anything. But down in this crypt, these are corpse zombies, but they aren't really proximity triggered like the ones in the original game. You basically have to step on them for them to wake up. So it's easy to just get to this doorway and lean in to grab these two goblets, 25 each, bring the total to 605, without waking the zombie. So, and now we're done with the Trace the Courier objective. We won't fail it again. So, now we just need to get back up into the street We need to get, we need to get over these crypts, over the wall, without uh, making all that noise, because we need to land back in the street. But it can be, it can be tough to do, for sure. Listen, make sure there. There was a first alert from that landing, so I'm gonna have to manage to do it silently, which requires me to land just on the wall, on the right side of the wall, enough to deflect without making that noise. Only cow. Oh, see, she went full second alert that time. Hmm. I know this can be done, I've done it before, but... Ooh, you can't have that, absolutely can't have that. Um... Okay. Yeah, I really don't think there's any other way out. Oh, I can't make any of this noise. I guess there's a chance I could get out over here. But I don't think so. Uh, Garrett won't even mantle onto there. in this crypt. Nothing, it's empty. Hmm. 
fear not. This is quite possible. But I'm sure they can see me. <laughs> no, they're back over here, so... Let's wait a bit. We don't really want to jump over the wall into the other section of the graveyard anyway, because one of the mechanist archers is stationed at the entrance, and, and she's just watching the inside. Which we don't want. There we go. This is a good spot to watch and wait. And see, they're extra twitchy because they've been in hunt. They've been in combat already. They never managed to make the dark engine. AIs distinguish between combat with you and combat with each other. Yes, yeah, she can she can see us. So we've got a small window right now, but still have to manage to Didst thou hear it too? Garrett, please just mantle. Something about the way they design these walls makes them almost impossible to get over. Oh, that isn't what I wanted. Making that noise. Reveal thy I'm sure this will first alert. Maybe not. I heard no first alerts. Did you guys? I think we're good. Ha she turned around. I'm not going to complain. It makes my life easier. But they might bump into us here. Listen. Okay, good. Time, time to go sweep the rest of the mission. We've got four more pickpockets to find. We still need to get the secret. And we're missing... 225 loot. The first piece... Is right here behind this drunk guard. Let's grab his nice wine bottle. It's worth 50, brings our total to 655. Next, up here by the marketplace, we need to run up this ladder. <coughs> Just get to the top of it, and you should be able to reach her arrows. That's the 11th of 14 pickpockets. 
Now, there's an archer kind of roaming around a long patrol route all along here. We need to get his arrows. There's a purse down by the pub, and there's a purse at Shalebridge Road, where we started. But we had to leave it behind because there was no good way to get it while following Lieutenant Mosley. This is usual. The marketplace is usually a good place to try and uh, spy out the last archer. But if you don't see him, then he's probably up in the Hill Street area. Huh? What was that? I knew he was going to bump into me. So head back towards where home used to be. Back in the good old ambush days. I'm gonna wait here for the till I see the patroller and he turns back around. Wait here again until he completes another cycle and heads back toward the market. Then we can head up there. Should be good now. Just remember you want to get across this next street quickly to get into the shadows, because you never know if the other patrols are going to be nearby or not. Okay, yeah, the archer's up there like I thought he'd be. But we're going to have to take a break here and wait for this patroller to pass us. And by the time that happens, the archer might come back down and be headed this way himself, which would make things easier. Time for another break as we wait for her. <laughs> She's headed the same way. So now let's see. They move a lot more than I thought they did. I didn't think they went towards your house. They must come down here by the grocery. Oh, there they are. Okay, okay. I've never heard this conversation before. That's interesting. Let's have a listen. Ah, mud and blast and bother. What is it? New boots. It's gonna take me a week to break in the cursed things. And until then, I'll be walking like someone's grandmom. Oh, wouldn't want to stop your little toesies. Nah, tap off. I've never heard that conversation. Cool. Didn't wasn't there a perfect shadow somewhere here during ambush? That's close enough. So I guess now they're headed back out. 
course the archer's in front. That makes things more complicated. But he's way in front, which... If they split up, which they do, should be able to get his arrows just the same. Very good. There's our 12th of 14 pickpockets. Yeah, better not go against the grain of those patrols. I don't want to chance that alert. <laughs> Let's just try and head back this way. I am worried about the other patroller. I never knew about this hiding place. That makes things easier. <clears throat> now let's see if we can make a good run this time. I don't think so. I think he's going to turn around before we could get here. But maybe if we go for the canal... go nice and slow, we can be okay. We need to make our way back over to the east side of the map where we started the mission. That's where the last two pickpockets are, and they're both purses. So we also want them because we're into loot. So, as always, be wary of the two patrollers here. I just like to wait for him to turn around. I knew she was going to see me. I swear the women in this game have some kind of hyper vision. They see you way easier than the men do. So with all that, we can head back to the marketplace, yet again. We need to get back out the way we originally came in, which is at the southeast corner. I think that's where that archer's headed, which is good. With all that accomplished, I'm going to do another real save. We're closing in on the end now. Something moved there. Well, I guess we got to his turnaround and I wasn't paying attention. Let's wait here till he passes by again. Or he decided to turn the other way. Regardless, I now want to head up here into the pub area. Oh wait, no. Wrong wrong way. I want to head through here into the pub area. Yes. Now the advantage of coming this way is that if you go all the way around the pub, 
you can get this guy's purse and he won't start patrolling. If you come at him from Shale Bridge, he'll start patrolling and make things more complicated there. So anyway, nab his purse, which is our 13th of 14 pickpockets. It's got 25 loot gold in it, brings our total to 680. Now we want to backtrack even further to the very beginning. That's right around Mosley's house where we started is one more guard with a purse. But like I said, we really didn't get an opportunity to try and steal his stuff, so... See a whole crew of people over. I'm a little surprised Mosley hasn't made it back to her house yet. She probably distance deactivated and we just reactivated her. So wait until you're clear as far as this archer goes. Get to the next shadow. It's always the name of the game here. It's just get to the next shadow. And I think I think that's the guy with the last purse. It is. So if we are just a little bit patient, we can probably swoop in and get it. Sir, was that you? Need to wait just a second longer. As always. Now if you move in behind that guy. Grab his purse. Mm -hmm. Hello? Oh, he's got a buddy. Okay. Change of plans. We're gonna have to wait for him and get it when he passes us. Didn't realize he had a friend. That's okay. Is someone there? No matter, we can move along his patrol route in the other direction, and that should afford us a nice, clean opportunity to grab it before too long. Incidentally, you might remember this area from the very end of Ambush. I mentioned this was Mosley's house. Here's where she ends up, just chilling right there. Won't ever move again. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. I should be able to lean out and grab the purse, but I am worried that they might bump into me. Or I might not be close enough, so let's just be careful. That purse is worth a full hundred, brings our total to 780. It is our last piece of, or it's our 14th pickpocket. Now all that's left is to head back to the graveyard and wrap things up. I was about to shut that door, but then I realized that it was open when I found it, so that's the way I need to leave it. Getting to the graveyard's not too bad, especially if you know the shortest way. Just, just to turn right here, head straight up here, turn right through this arch. We're already back to the graveyard area. And so let's save, just because we do still have the mechanists to deal with, but over here on the far eastern end of the graveyard is where we want to be. Good, the patrols aren't around right now. They do range the entire front of the graveyard generally, but if you come up to this very eastern point, you see a torch, hit it. That's the one and only secret for this mission.
We aren't quite safe yet. Although, if she's still turned around, normally, at least, well, I say normally, in my practice run, she was faced in to the graveyard. But if she's turned around, that'll make things much easier. But even if she's facing in, you can creep while hugging those gravestones and get through that gate and she won't first alert to you. So we're just about out of danger now. There's one little thing left to do. Head down into this crypt. Oh, wrong one. My mistake. Head through here. You can see the blood from the pagan. We gotta follow the, the trail. But let's deviate for a moment and head in here. We've got the classic zombie model here, and he will wake up if we uh, step on him. But the cool thing is we can reach the vase on the other side by going between the wall and the statue like that, and we'll never wake him up. That vase is worth 50, it brings our total to 830, and that's all the loot in Trace the Courier. So... Where did he go? I guess there must be another way out of here after all. Wasn't expecting that. So now we need to follow him into the portal. And that'll do it. That's a perfect supreme ghost of Trace the Courier. Not too bad, not too bad at all. It's the normal stuff about that mission is the hardest part. Just the act of dodging the patrollers in the streets while keeping track of the courier. But... Anyway, yeah, perfect Supreme Ghost. Nothing else to say. No busts at all. Awesome. Took 35 minutes, 19 seconds. Found 830 loot out of 830. 14 out of 16 pickpockets. Remember, there's the bug that always adds one extra, and then the game flags the letter as a pickpocket, but there's no way you can ever get it. So 14 out of 16 is all of them. Zero locks picked, zero backstabs and knockouts, no damage dealt or taken, no healing taken, nothing and no one killed, no iron beast destroyed or disabled, found one out of one secrets. T campaign so far, 9 hours, 55 minutes, 43 seconds, 13,631 loot, 8 damage dealt again, 8 knockouts in running interference, and no damage received. Excellent, that's it. I will see you next time for Trail of Blood. Bye bye